Hey guys, welcome to 2017 MK Preparation. We're going to be looking at substitution problems in this session. All right, so let's get started with the questions. Oh, before I forget, if you don't know how to do substitution, I'm going to put a link in the description. Have a look. That should send you to another video which actually shows how to do substitution. But anyway, let's have a look at the type of questions that we're going to be dealing with this year. All right, so what we have is in this situation, we've got a cone has radius 3 centimeters and a height 10 centimeters, a half sphere, a hemisphere is known, is placed on top, so that's the green hemisphere there. Now the volume of a cone with a hemisphere on top is actually given with this formula. So we have volume is equal to pi r squared multiplied by h plus 2 times r divided by 3. So now we're asked to find the volume of this shape. So if you have a look at it, the first thing is um, that the height is 10 centimeters. So we can say that h is equal to 10. And then the next thing is that the radius equals 3. So we can say radius equals to 3. So in our volume equation, we're just going to substitute h and r. So we're going to get pi multiplied by 3 squared, because that's r squared, uh, multiplied by h, which happens to be 10 in this case plus 2 multiplied by radius, which is 3 in this case. All right, and the whole thing is divided by 3. So if we have a look at it, then we can say that this would become pi multiplied by 9 multiplied by 10 plus 6 divided by 3. And one of the things is if you look at it, it actually says leave pi in your answer. So you just got to work out 9 times 16 divided by 3. Now the way I do it is just to make things easy for me. Um, because I've got pi multiplied by 9 multiplied by 16 over 3. And what you could do is you can actually cancel out the 9 and 3. Because they are, com well, they are common factors of 3. So that will become 1. And that will become 3. So your final answer ends up being pi multiplied by 3 multiplied by 16. And this, of course, can be written as 48 pi uh, centimeter cubed. Okay, that's how you do this question. Um, so with substitution, basically all you're doing is just replacing the letters with the appropriate numbers and simplifying your answer to the well simplifying it simplifying your answer that's pretty important if you are dealing with pi um, like in this question you know how you can actually leave pi in your answer so in your answers as well if you know you don't have to work out pi times 48 because in this particular exam you don't really have a calculator so you, therefore you just leave your answer with pi all right let's have a look at the next question so this time we have a cylinder which has a radius of one centimeter uh, and a height of three centimeters so we've got radius of one centimeter and then the height of the cylinder is three centimeters a cube is placed below the cylinder with a base that is the same as the diameter of the cylinder so if you think about it the diameter of the cylinder is two centimeters which means this cube has a base of two centimeters now because it's a cube all sides are equal so we're going to have that as two centimeters and that as two centimeters. Now I know looking at the shape it doesn't look like it, uh, but fortunately uh, that's what the question is. Okay, so what do we have? We have been given, we've, I mean if you look at it, we've been given R. R is, uh, not 10, sorry, R is one, and the height of the cylinder is three. And we're given the volume function, so volume is equal to pi r squared h plus uh, 2r cubed. So it's just a matter of substituting guys. So we're going to get pi multiplied by 1 squared multiplied by the height which is 3 and we have plus 2 times r so 2 times 1 to the power of 3. So simplifying this, we're going to get pi multiplied by 1 times 3 plus 2 times 1 is 2, so we're going to get 2 cubed. So this can be written as 3 pi plus 2 
plus 2 cubed equals to 8 and so we just leave it as 3 pi plus 8. We can't really do anything further to this um, particular answer so we're just going to leave it as 3 pi plus 8 uh, and of course the volume of the shape is in centimeter cube and we just put our centimeter cube there. All right, and that's basically it, guys, for this session. Uh, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Um, apart from that, thank you for watching.